keep fixing underwater endoscopic mucosal resection without submucosal injection for laterally spreading colon polyp. Background Underwater endoscopic mucosal resection has become a popular endoscopic resection method for intermediate to large colorectal polyps. However, the snare tip can sometimes slip when opening or closing the snare, resulting in increased risk of piecemeal resection. To address this issue, we report our technique of tip fixing underwater endoscopic mucosal resection without submucosal injection for laterally spreading colon polyp. A 59-year-old woman with positive quaker local blood test results underwent colonoscopy, which revealed a 20mm diameter laterally spreading tumor at the sigmoid colon. Magnified endoscopy with narrow band imaging showed regular micro vessels and surface structure suggesting an adenoma. Therefore, we performed tip fixing underwater EMR for this lesion. White light image showed a laterally spreading tumor with a diameter of 20 mm in the sigmoid column. Magnified endoscopy with narrow band imaging showed a regular micro vessel and surface structure suggesting an adenoma. The gassed water was infused using a mechanical water pump to completely fill the lumen. By projecting the tip of the snare by 2 mm, a mucosal incision was made on the oral side of the lesion using a cutting current. The snare was positioned appropriately around the lesion. After the lesion was captured, resection was performed using electrocautery. Complete end block resection was achieved with no adverse event. There was no residual region after resection. The mucosal defect was completely closed using clips. Histopathological diagnosis was a low-grade tubular venous adenoma with negative margins. In conclusion, in tipping EMR studies, a spot-shaped mucosal incision was created as the oral normal mucosa with prior submucosal injection using the snare tip to fix the snare. However, submucosal injection was not required in our technique of tip fixing underwater EMR. Essentially, interluminal water serves as a heat sink which, when combined with a relatively thick wall resulting from the relaxation of mucosal tension by removing interluminal air, may protect against some injury of the deeper chronic wall even while making a pre-cut with a snare tip. However, 
excessive SNEA exposure over application of cautery or deeper SNEA driving could cause perforation, especially in thin wall area such as the right colon or small intestine.